I'm going to do a quick tutorial on how to get the Excel data into a custom uh, Survey123 file so that we can bypass translating and writing things. I'll try to make this as short as possible, but my internet may not allow me to do that. All right, so right now I'm just on the uh, ArcGIS homepage. So what you want to do is go to Content on the upper ribbon. And it'll say drag and drop your content here. And you'll see that these say feature layer, feature layer, feature layer. So that's what we want to do. We want to create a feature layer out of the Excel file. So here I made this uh, interview test. It's a translated version of the... Um, stop it. It's a translated version of the Vietnamese uh, interviews that were done in Humat. So this is a Excel file. It's not a CSV file right now. So I don't want to save. I'm just going to drag that and drop that here. It's saying analyzing interviews. OK, so this is the important part. It says add interviews to create a hosted feature layer or table. This is what we want. We don't want just the Excel file, right? So it'll show all of the names. You can change them if any of them are wrong. Like, for example, if one of the uh, numbers are being read in as a string, you want to change that to an integer or a double if it's continuous data. But you can do that later on, so it doesn't really matter. OK, so we're going to press Next. It's going to identify our latitude and longitude fields. If these are incorrect, just go through and change them to the right one. Okay, and I'm just going to call this interviews test because I'm going to delete it later. Um, you can add them to categories or add a summary. I'm just going to say this is a test. Okay, so now it's going to add that as a feature layer. <coughs> Okay, so we see this is a test. It's called interviews test, and it's a feature layer. So now we're going to open survey123 connect. And I already uh, made it here, but I'm going to delete it just for the sake of redoing everything. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is go to New Survey, and we use Featured Service. So this is the second one from the bottom. We're going to type in Test, and it should come up as Test Survey, uh, or Interviews Test, yeah, Interviews Test, and Create Survey. So right now we get this error. And I did this on purpose because if you do this incorrectly, like I just did, then you'll get the property supports apply edits with globals must be true. Okay, so if you get this error, the way to uh, bypass it is to go into your feature layer. So you go into gallery or content. So let's say I just went back into our ArcGIS content page. I see interview test, the feature layer. And then once I'm in this layer, I'm going to go to settings, scroll down to feature layer hosted, and then click enable editing and enable sync, and then save. Okay, and once that is saved, you can make your new survey, go to Feature Service, write Test to find Interview Test. Now uh, the um, syncing is enabled, press Create Survey.
and voila. So now we have an actual survey one, two, three form with all of the data that we collected already. Um, this means that we can also put this on the app and that we can, um, we can start using it just like we were doing it before, but now it's in English. So now we want to press publish. Okay, publish survey. Great, publishing complete. So now for the important part, we can go to survey one, two, three. I'm just going to refresh so I can get the uh, survey up here. And we called this form four, right? So I didn't name it here. Uh, if I go back, I can double check. This is called form four. So now we can uh, edit, we can collaborate, we can analyze, and we can export the data. So I'll just do the quick analysis. Okay, so we have our word clouds, um, we have our bar graphs, wherever the bar graphs are necessary. We can also um, we can change the different types that show up, right? So if it's like numeric, we can change it to a bar chart or a pie chart. We can map the data as well. Um, you can also go back into Survey123 Connect and then edit the form and modify um, whether it's an integer or whether it's read as a string or a factor or anything like that. So you can get different graphs with that too. All right.